All right, guys, welcome back. Um, kind of been neglecting this one for a little bit. Uh, I do apologize. I've been spending more time on my Twitch lately and kind of uh, uh, just kind of haven't really touched YouTube too much lately. But uh, I figured it's time I've already talked to you guys about the F100. Um, I'm, I've been holding off on this because I thought the plane might get a little bit better. I thought Gaijin might put a ninja patch in there and make this plane yeah, a little bit better than it was. But unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with this for now. Um, the F-100 overall, I mean, it's obviously one of the new Tier 6 jets, one of the two Tier 6 jets. Um, I don't have a lot of good things to say about it, but it's a lot more enjoyable to fly than the MiG-19 currently. I'll cover that again in another video. But um, I guess we can just go over what its only strength is right now. Um, the only thing that this plane is good at right now is going fast. Um, it is currently the fastest plane in the game. It can do well over Mach at low altitudes and high altitudes. Um, has no problem maintaining uh, Mach like 1.05 if you're coming out of a dive, and it'll maintain right around Mach um, straight and level. But the big downside to this aircraft is it bleeds speed. And by bleeding speed, I mean the second you turn, you're not doing Mach anymore. You're if you're not careful, you're going to be doing 700, 600 kilometers an hour. So, the biggest challenge in this aircraft is staying fast. And that comes into play later on when you are dealing with MiG-19s who may not be faster than you, but if you come out of a turn and you're not doing that top speed, um, you're going to end up with a MiG-19 on your butt that you cannot outrun because the acceleration is absolutely poor in this aircraft. So... I guess what else does this plane have? Uh, well, since Tier 6 came out, we've introduced the missiles. And the F-100 has the Abe 9 Sidewinders. Everybody's excited about these for a long time. Um, I guess they didn't do too bad implementing them into the game. Um, they're not super effective, but if you use them properly, they are a good tool to have in your box. Don't just find the first person and just shoot them off. In this case, um, this guy's flying away from me. He's going to be able to get away from me, but I'm going to fire a missile at him. And so he's going to get a warning in his cockpit, and he's going to dodge. And when he dodges in an F-100, you lose energy. You lose energy very quick. Uh, in this guy's case, he freaked out and decided he had to turn because I was going to catch him. Well, that was kind of a mistake in his book. But, oh well. Use your missiles properly. Um, don't be lobbing them off at 2 kilometers or 3 kilometers. Just because you have a lock doesn't mean you should fire it. Try and catch your enemy off guard. Um or use it to make them dodge so they don't out accelerate you and they don't get away. Um, those are the two best times to use them. And for God's sake, do not shoot it when you have a friendly right in front of you because the missile will track your friendly. It'll also track the sun, but um, you guys have probably figured that out by now. Touching back on the speed thing, so most 90 aircraft cannot touch this thing. Cannot catch it, should I say. They can touch it. But in general, if you keep your speed above 1,000 kilometers an hour, um, most cases you'll still be able to outrun most 90 aircraft. Do not ever tangle with a 90 aircraft, particularly the Sabres or the MiGs. Um, unfortunately, they maintain energy 100 times better than you, and they are far more maneuverable. Pretty much every speed you will fight. Um, this plane is a lumbering brick at slow speeds. So just don't tangle with ninos. Do your high speed passes. Try and get a shot off. Don't turn fight them. Don't be that guy. Sabres absolutely wreck these planes. MiGs absolutely wreck these planes. I'm talking about MiG-17, MiG-15. MiG-17 can still do mock and a dive. So if you're not careful and the MiG-17 dives on you, he's going to catch you. Now on top of that, right now with the spotting system, the way it is with these high speed aircraft, um, these aircraft, uh, your enemies, they aren't showing up until they're 600 meters behind you. You don't get any warning anymore. You have to keep your head on a swivel. And I'll tell you what, this this current patch of this game, I'm not going to say it ruined the game, but it definitely made things a lot more difficult. You're going to get caught off guard. And unfortunately, it's just this part of the game right now. So, touching back to the high speed. When you're going mock, if you guys haven't figured it out, you get this ugly vapor cloud. I figured out a way around it. Go to cockpit view. Once you go to cockpit view, oh, look, no cloud anymore. Look how much easier it is to aim. 
it's actually very very viable um, when you do a mock because at mock speeds aircraft don't nearly turn as well um, in fact they're kind of bricks at high speeds so aiming it's a lot easier because they're not dodging you as hard in closing um, really didn't want to do this tutorial I'll be honest this it's not a carry plane um, this is a very very difficult plane to carry a match in um, it's helpful to have squad mates so when you die don't be surprised because if a MiG-19 ends up on your butt or a Sabre ends up on your butt or I mean sometimes a MiG-15 they're gonna outperform you they're gonna maintain energy better than you they're gonna go vertical better than you they're gonna outmaneuver you there's there's really not much you can do you just hope that your defensive flying skills are just a slight bit better than their aim if you take anything away from this video just attempt your hardest to stay fast in this plane that is the key to it being alive if you get slow or you don't have that potential energy built up you're gonna get popped and even more so reality these days because of the spotting system the spotting system I can't tell you how many times it's caught me off guard over the past two or three weeks since this batch I don't know if they changed anything I don't know if it's because these planes are faster but just be careful but in the grand scheme of things it's kind of an underperforming plane I'm gonna be waiting for the next patch I'll play these things until then, but hopefully the next patch brings out some better tier 6 aircraft. And, um, yeah, so, if you have any more questions, feel free to check out my Twitch stream. Um, that's where I've been at a lot lately. Uh, I'll put the address here at the bottom. It's, it's www.twitch.com slash whoop-de-doo. And um, I'm trying to be there daily. Um, we got a pretty good crowd. Come on and check it out. Come say hi. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, I am more willing to help you out. And um, I guess we can go from there. Until then, I'll see you around, guys.